Hello guys, it's me Glef back again here with another video. I put up a community post the other day about the next top 10 video I should make and you guys voted for the both. So today I am here to do another top 10 video and today it's about the both. The Bose in Rotom G has always been known for being yeah, a little bit bland and I feel like it's the same situation with the daggers. But in recent time we've actually got some more UT variants with the Shatter's rework and some better ST alternatives. And actually a Christmas weapon that got released last year that has a spot on this top 10 list. Let's start with the honorable mentions. Doombow. The once legendary and combined with the Coral Bow, the only bow you actually needed in Rotom G. A great, great entry level UT bow, but unfortunately it has gone down in usability since the addition to other bows in recent years. And it's one of the few bows with one shot. We got T shot and Void Bow up there with the one shot bows, and unfortunately this one I feel is the worst. Bow of Mystical Energy. Tear bows, am I right? This, fortunately, didn't make it to the top 10 since it's not just that good, to be honest. In decent, it's decent if you get it early on a PP, but I think there are better alternatives out there, and it's not that fun to use, so it belongs here. Number 10. Coral Bow. One of my favorite bows that I really think needs a rework in the coming months. Combined with the Doom Bow, this was the optimal gear on an archer or a huntress back when Tombs was the hardest dungeon in the game. Doom Bow for the bosses and Coral Bow for everything else. I really think this has to deserve a spot on the list and unfortunately it's number 10. Number 9. Thousand Shot. This bow was once leaked to be a new UT bow and I didn't believe it when it was leaked on reddit or the forums back in the day and later it was released with the puppets Mo monster encore release. The bow is very fun to use and it actually has the highest rate of fire of any weapon in the game that's pretty interesting and before May 2021 uh, the damage was 4230 and gave minus 5 speed on equip and they later removed that from min minus 5 speed and for classes that had 50 speed getting 45 speed that was pretty bad and that made the bow less usable before but now since the minus 5 speed is gone it makes it a little bit more useful. Number 8. The Hailstorm. Hailstorm is one of the newest bows in the game, or it's actually the newest bow in the game. It comes from the Storm Color Bard ST set and was released just some months ago. This bow is a better version of the Virginia bow, which is an armor piercing bow, and this one deals more damage and actually does more da the most damage on any target above around 90 defense, and that makes this bow a worthy spot on this list and I would actually like to put it up higher but the competition gets pretty close up towards the end. Otherwise a very fun bow to use and uh, you can see the sh shot pattern here it's a little bit wide and you have to stand in stuff to get all the bullets in. Otherwise a very fun bow to use and I wonder where the drop location for this will be in the future. Number 7 Leaf Bow. This bow I don't know what to say, it's a really nice bow, gives 5 speed on equip and it's relatively easy to get in the woodland labyrinth. Unfortunately this bow does not pierce enemies and therefore is not that good at crowd control like other bows like tiered bow or any of the upcoming bows that I will talk about. But it, it's a really nice alternative and will give you 5 plus speed and has a rate of fire of 140%. And the damage is not that bad either. While using this bow on a bard, giving yourself inspired will make you have extra long range with this one since it doesn't have any true range since it's only one shot. And the range is 7.2 so that's already pretty nice. But it's a very fun bow to use and it's been in the game for such a long time. After Swatsek had hacked the game and we got the UT week, I traded my leaf bow for a sea dirt, prot puree and a coral bow and that is probably the best trade I've ever, ever done in Realm. This bow has a place in my heart and therefore it deserves a number 7 spot. 
Number 6. Harmonious Harp This bow came with the release of the Oryx 3 back in 2020 and I feel like this bow should be a little bit better than it is. It comes from the Orc Sanctuary which is a pretty hard dungeon for beginners and endgame players. It's pretty easy and you probably have a lot of this bow since you've done a lot of O3s especially now on the O3 event but I, I want this bow to be more than it is. It's a pretty decent bow. The bullet speed is very slow for being a bow and therefore deserves this spot since I think there are better alternatives. But combined with the whole set from Orcs Sanctuary, it's pretty nice. But looking at the weapons in the Orcs Sanctuary, I feel like this one is not as good as the Superior, Lumiere, Divinity or, or the Enforcer or the Avarice for example. So I think this one needs to be a little bit better. I would actually say put it up in a white bag or just take this bow make a new mini boss in Orc Sanctuary and give it a bow so every weapon class has a mini boss to get a weapon from. Okay we are getting down to number 5 now and that is the Garland bow. This bow is pretty nice but it has some flaws that makes this not being as good as it could be. The Garland bow has the most damage uh, if you look in the DPS calculator but it comes with the burst delay because it bursts in uh, a pattern of three every time and the burst delay is 1.6 seconds so this bow does not favor in group play since if you get berserk it wouldn't it will not affect the burst count or the burst delay um, and therefore it's very nice to use on solo play if you are doing dungeons for yourself or godlands if you're not with a warrior but if you get the warrior buff from a warrior it's better to use any other bow as an alternative because that will give you more damage but it's an interesting bow but i'm not sure the burst uh, delay is something nice for weapons i don't see players playing with these weapons since it's kind of annoying to use the burst delay and uh, it has some potential but i'm not sure if deca has gotten it right yet but still a great bow for soloing and it has the most damage if you can get all the bullets in and you can live with the burst delay. Number 4. Predator Bow Okay, I lied when Garland Bow did the most damage in the game. Predator Bow does the most damage in the game if you hit all the 5 bullets and that is the problem. 2 of your bullets out of 5 will shoot behind you like the cultist staff and 3 will shoot in front of you. I'm not sure which minion created this weapon in the realm but I'm not sure if that minion is a healthy one. If you can stand in enemies for example when Oryx 3 is staggered uh, or some other like Besa for example you can do massive amount of damage and even if you hit three bullets with this one it's not that bad. It's it's one of the best bows DPS wise and therefore it deserves a number four spot. I would argue it could actually be a number three spot but the number three spot is one of my favorite bows and therefore for my personal experience I have this on number four but this could be number three or actually a number two but not a number one and I will argue with that later. Number three. I'm sorry for this guys it could have been the predator bow or actually should be I'm sorry for this But I just have to put the void bow up here on a number three spot I think it really deserves this spot since it's one of my favorite bows in the game And I use it actually instead of the warmonger on my bard Above 58 defense the void bow actually does more damage than the predator bow does with three shots and I think Therefore, this is a nice end game item to use on high defense bosses, and it's the best bow with one bullet. And it also has a place in my heart since I've never had it that much in my history of Realm. I've had a hard time getting it in the void, and it took like three and a half years before I actually got my first one after doing multiple of Lost Halls, hundreds of them. So when I got this, I was very hyped and therefore it just has a place in my heart and I'm sorry, I'm sorry for any Predator Bow lovers out there, but the Void Bow, it's cool, it's nice, it comes from the Void. Lost Halls is my favorite dungeon in the game, the Void 2, so therefore number 3, Void Bow. 
number two, Bow of Deep Enchantment. This is the tier 14 bow and it's the best tiered bow in the game, of course. But tier bows overall is pretty meh and I don't know, the even the bow of mystical magic didn't make this top 10 list but the bow of deep enchantment I think it's a very nice bow to use it feels very satisfying to shoot and if you hit all the three bullets you will do a lot of damage it will do more damage than the void bow before 33 defense so therefore this is a good alternative for armor break on the bosses like orcs 3 staggered or base staggered uh, and it's generally a very nice bow standing close to enemies. It's perfect for the Corix and even some moments in the shadows I feel like it's pretty useful. Just before I go over the number one spot which you have been waiting for I think, I will just want to say I have members on my channel and I want to thank my two members so far which is Tommy Seabricks and Topic Bricks which uh, are supporters on this channel and if you want please consider being a member because it helps out the channel a lot and it comes with some perks on my discord and the channel and you get some cool emotes to use in the chat. Number 1. The Warmonger. This bow was released with the shadows reworked and was an awaited endgame bow for all the bow players out there. I think this weapon is really nice to use, it has a true range of 8 tiles and the real range is 8.0028 tiles so the true range is almost the whole range that's pretty nice for a bow the damage is pretty nice and it's just a buffed coral bow but with a reactive proc like all the other weapons from the shadows rework when in combat you get minus 15 dexterity for one second but i think the damage overall outweighs the proc you get here on equip it gives five vitality XP bonus is 8, and feed power 1000, that's a little bit low deca, but it drops from the Forgotten King. The hardest boss in the game right now, I think I can say with confidence, but I actually have this item. I was lucky in the beginning of the Shatter's release, uh, after the rework, to get this bow, and it's one of my favorite items in the game. And it looks cool, and you can even get it with the schematics that was out on the campaign just before New Year. Did you guys agree with my list? I think you should agree. Maybe not the Predator bo Void Bow, but otherwise, I hope you have a great day. Like the video if you liked, and subscribe to the channel if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next video. These lights are pretty cool, right? Should I do more camera? I don't know. You tell me. Write that in the comment down below. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.